Hello everyone, I'm Harmony Oswald. I am a US Army veteran, a member of the California Bar, and the founder and CEO of Legal Lucy. So the problem that we're solving at Legal Lucy is that small business owners, they're not really sure whether or not they have a legal issue. So they think they can't afford a lawyer, so they randomly research these complex legal issues on the internet, and they end up paying a hundred billion a year on litigation. Legal Lucy is an interactive pre-lawyer assistant, empowering small business owners to spot issues, take action, and stay safe. So the legal industry is a huge market and it's growing. Legal tech is projected to bring in millions of new users. So here we're showing you the projected market there on the left of new users in the US. In the middle, it's the number that is business law users only. And then to the right, that's the 2%, the market share we are going for with our business law entry. So our patent pending technology helps users do two things. It helps you to narrow down the issue based on what a typical business owner might do in like circumstances. And then secondly, it helps you solve the issue right on the platform with highly valuable tools. So for example, we can educate the user on how a lawyer can help, and then they can purchase professional legal solutions right on the platform. So we've received some really excellent feedback from some uh, business owners that helped us in our testing. So for example, one user said that in business, you don't know what you don't know and mistakes cost time and money. So this is a really valuable tool. So Legal Lucy, we have uh, our business model is a marketplace. So the business owner can use Legal Lucy for free. And then if they'd like, they can purchase a professional legal solution right on site. So our law firm vendors pay us on average a $20 fee for hosting the transaction on our site. And we have a detailed plan in place to reach our target market share in three years time. So this is showing you how we're planning to do that. So for example, what we're doing is over the long term, we're building a community. We've partnered with some awesome companies such as the Founder Institute, the International IP Law Association, and even San Jose State University. And we've also signed on some top tier legal scholars that deliver content on our platform. So for example, we have the number one cited IP legal scholar worldwide, Mark Lemley, delivering patent content right on our platform. So, what we're doing differently here is that other legal tech companies in our research, what happens is they send over problematic leads to the law firms. So our technology, we educate and empower business owners. So we send over better informed, ready to pay, high quality, vetted leads for the firm, but we also reduce the inefficiency of the consultation process. And so we have a really awesome and strong team in place. It includes lawyers and technologists, and we even have Eddie Hartman, who's the co-founder of LegalZoom, as one of our valued advisors. So we've been making some really excellent progress recently. So we just secured our lead investor recently, we iterated our product, and we've increased our numbers due to that iteration exponentially just in the last month. So at the end of September, our numbers, we had 376 active users. And so we also, you know, we have a, a growth plan in place that what we're planning to do is to saturate the Bay Area market by March. And we have a launch event scheduled in March at Tech Interactive in San Jose. We've already partnered with the World Finance Council and Eddie Hartman, the co-founder of LegalZoom is going to be our keynote. So then after that, our plan is to expand into other cities across California. And then from there, we can move beyond into other states as well. So we're currently raising 570 grand to get to 25,000 transactions and 500 grand in total revenue in 18 months. Great, amazing. Thanks, Harmony. Um, there's already some uh, uh, questions coming up in the chat room and for the audience, please ask your questions. We'd love to uh, relay them over to the, to the speaker as well. Um, you know, the first question is, you know, why are you doing this? 
Well, speaking on behalf of our company, Legal Lucy, and our team, we're really on a mission to break down barriers to legal for all Americans and even beyond. We've learned in our customer research that there's really a barrier up that's preventing people from getting the legal help they need. But personally speaking, I am doing this really because it's kind of, it's more of a calling for me. Uh, it's kind of my life's purpose, I think. You know, my whole entire family are small business owners, entrepreneurs, that kind of thing really runs in my blood. And there was actually a time in my life where I thought that I would be pursuing more of a corporate big law firm type of role. And I just was magnetized and my life just led me straight down the path of entrepreneurship. So it's really just a good fit for me. Uh, and so that's why I'm doing it. It's really a calling. <laughs> why, why do you believe the time is now for this venture? Yeah, that's a great question. So the time is now because this is what business owners want. Uh, they're, they're really demanding it. So when I was working as a business attorney, people were asking me, you know, I really wish there was some type of guide that I could use. They're looking for something that's on demand. And we are actually listening to that. Uh, and building something that these people are looking for. Um, other legal tech companies, there's a lot of lawyer matching going on or building a tech enhanced law firm. But if you look at statistics with people, they really uh, tend to kind of not trust lawyers or they avoid them because they think they can't afford one. They actually end up paying a hundred billion a year in litigation, according to the uh, U.S. Chamber Institute for Legal Reform. So, uh, so yeah, that's why the time is now because the demand is there. It's it's what people want an on-demand solution. So that is what we're building. And my final question before we get to all these questions that are bunching up from the chat room here: Why do you believe that your company has a uh, high growth potential? Well, the first reason is because the market and legal is to begin with. It's a huge market both in the US is a $437 billion market globally. Uh, due to legal tech, globally, the market is projected to expand in the next couple of years by like 150 billion. So this is these new users that are coming in, they're looking for uh, alternate solutions in, from legal tech. And so uh, for that reason, there's this awesome growth potential. We also have patent pending technology. So uh, that's protecting us while we're building it out into new geographies, new areas of law. So we, the, there's a lot of opportunities to expand there. Uh, there's a question in the chat room from Shang. What's the difference with, uh, uh, you know, Zieg uh, between your, uh, between, you know, Legal Lucy and Zegel, which used to be formerly called Dragon Law? Hmm. Okay. So I'm not familiar with, uh, Zegel, you know, could you explain a little bit further about what that is? Is it? Um, I'm going to go move on to the next question then. Um, <clears throat> um, you know, this, uh, Lucas asked a question is, uh, do you see this scaling outside of the United States to other countries? Well, absolutely. I mean, just in the past month, we've had the opportunity to uh, moderate a global IP law panel. The International IP Law Association invited us to do that. We're also partnering with the World Finance Council to put on our launch event in March. So the global industry is worldwide. Of course, you know, our business model is a marketplace. And so we are making an entry into the market. As I mentioned earlier, we are planning to saturate the Bay Area market. And that's what we've been working on with excellent growth in the last couple of months as we've been iterating our product, but then expand into California and then targeted states across the US. Um, you know, uh, there's, there's another question here uh, in the chat room and, and it's, you know, can you talk a little bit more about, you know, the differentiation with like Stripe Atlas or LegalZoom? Absolutely. So one of the biggest differentiators between us and a lot of other legal tech companies, especially ones that are sending through leads to the law firm vendors. So in our research from law firms, a lot of times they don't really like working with these legal tech companies because 
the leads sent over are problematic. And one of the reasons why in our research, what we have found is that these customers, when they go to a site like LegalZoom, if you, what happens is you're expected to know what you are looking for already. So you really need to know what you need when you get there. And so, but Legal Lucy, what we are doing differently is we are taking that a step back. So with our product, you don't need to know what you were looking for. Like the business owner in our testimonial said, in business, you don't know what you don't know. Mistakes cost time and money. So our patent pen pending technology helps you narrow down potentially the issue that you were having. And then once you figure that out and have determined that, then it helps you to solve that issue right on the platform with, with as I mentioned, valuable tools. And the final question here before we move on to the next presenters, how are you vetting the law firms on your on your platform? Yeah, so one thing that we're doing differently than other legal tech companies is we are highly committed to providing um, complete information to help a, while, a wide array of business owners so that they can make well-informed choices about what they're looking for. Okay, so we're not making the choices on behalf of them. What we have learned is this has to do with their, their choice of a lawyer, um, their choice of the solutions that they're able to purchase. So for example, business owners, um, sometimes what they found is if they go to a law firm, there are high hourly rates, they're not really sure what they're getting, they're in complete reliance on the lawyer, and that makes them really nervous. But they have kind of two alternatives, it's either that or they just go get a, a sample template off the internet, it's, you know, and there's a lot of risk. And what they've said is they wish they could just get a little something, something, right? So they wish they could make a choice. The, the legal solution has a scope to it. They can perhaps pick tiered packages, for example. But so the business owner, we're giving them choices so that it's a wide range of, um, you know, offerings so that they can choose what is a good fit for their needs. Got it. Thank you so much, Harmony. This was a great pitch for everyone in the audience. If you'd like to learn more, take a look at LegalLucy.com. Um, thanks again, Harmony. Uh, we're going to move on to the next presenter now. Thank you, Mike. No problem.